The most important lever for a shift towards sustainability is certainly a mindset shift. Transformations can't be designed in isolation. It has to be a collaborative effort. For a global uh, sustainability transformation, we need to reach people's hearts. When I think about sustainability transformations, what comes to mind is love. So we need a new enlightenment honoring balance, systems, openness for future, thereby also allowing for and enlarging diversity. Because it's such a massively complex system that we live in, the challenge of understanding not only where there is, but if we did have a common vision of where there is, how to get from here to there is enormous. The symposium was funded by the Volkswagen Foundation and brought together 60 leading thinkers and actors from the sustainability community and from the consciousness community to explore possibilities to foster sustainability transformations through collaboration. What's really dear to the foundation and what we're aiming for in the projects we fund is that we are trying to support projects and people who um, challenge established thinking in a way and who want to try out new things. And well, it seems to me that that's also a bit at the core of transformative studies and transformation research. So it feels kind of natural for the, for the foundation to support such an event. The symposium brought together members of the scientific community, the private sector, political institutions and civil society to work through real sustainability cases using a tool that led participants on both an inner and an outer journey. The question is, what, are the, what is the foundational element where real exchange and learning can take place? And my impression is, it's the human connection. If only staying at the conceptual level and fighting about specific energy infrastructures, it's difficult to find to join solutions. Among the sustainable development goals, there are 17 of them. The most important one is the last, the 17th, which says that we will, do, we will achieve the sustainability transformations in partnership. We need the commitment of a multitude of stakeholders across all levels of the global society across institutions, across nations. And there is more. We need people who are able and willing to lead collectively, because this is a special, different form of leadership. It requires that we bring together the inner resourcefulness of leaders with the art of change and the art of collective action. In that way, the inner path and the outer path belong together. These paths are intertwined and we need to bring the community that deals with mindfulness and consciousness together with a community that deals with outer collective action. How do we create a space that allows these two communities to learn from each other and somehow find an integrative approach that, can, that kind of draws on what both communities have to offer? The Transformation Canvas based on in-depth transdisciplinary research integrates elements of both the inner and the outer path. Using the canvas, it's possible to work on concrete sustainability challenges, honoring their complexity and drawing on collective intelligence and human connections. This allows the development of processes to identify joint solutions in order to achieve the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. The method to achieve the goals is not clear and it cannot be linear. It has to be a process of learning where there will be many complexities uh, and many emergent phenomena happening. Well, I think the, the canvas serves to have a more holistic understanding of any given topic and issue. And that is, of course, what we are desperately in need of. One could say it is a philosophy, but it is a way of seeing the nature of reality, of seeing our interconnectedness, of seeing the planet as a whole, and of seeing us acting responsibly in the era of the Anthropocene. The canvas is a six-dimensional tool that allows us to look at the qualities and competencies that in balance in individuals, systems, and processes lead to aliveness and the emergence of collective leadership. 
On an individual level, we can use the canvas to observe ourselves, our strengths and areas for development, as well as our pattern of competencies. This can help our individual inner journey. It can also indicate entry points into a transformation process, can help identify what functional patterns are present within a system that can be used to build on in a transformation process. And on a systems level, the canvas can serve as a tool for analysis, to perceive what is present or lacking, what areas of a system are out of balance and require attention. It can elucidate what interconnections and interdependencies exist and how these may influence each other. The canvas is also a sort of an experiment. In a way you could say it's, it's only a set of questions. <laughs> but it's a set of very specifically chosen questions that kind of guide the attention of somebody who wants to reflect and engage in a transformation process, be it institutional, personal, what have you, to focus on certain fields. There, on the one hand, you have the six sectors that are based on the collective leadership compass of Petra Künkel, which come from her experience and research. And on the other hand, it's trying to connect the discussions about what we do for transformations in these different sectors to how does that relate to how, how we are, to our mode of being. And see these also always in, in, in connection. During the symposium, the transformation canvas was applied to four complex sustainability case challenges from very different backgrounds. My name is Noara and I'm part of the microenergy universe and uh, we are working towards a bottom-up energy transition which is driven by the Global South. I work for Sinteo uh, and I'm working on a project called Europe Delivers. And at the core we're about reinventing growth, going from today's narrative on that to uh, a growth that benefits the many, not the few. We are building a community around that, that we want to co-create and co-own this project. So I came here with that challenge. I came here with a Clapper From School project, which I am the director of. It's 16 schools in Germany committed to um, transformative education on all levels, meaning to create spaces to learn a sustainable practice. I'm here. Uh, working in Wales under a new act called the Wellbeing and Future Generations Act and under that act we're um, introducing new ways of working, different processes and also working on the internal state and how working on the internal and system state can change our ways of working. In groups, participants use the canvas to analyze four sustainability cases and develop recommendations for solving the issues presented by the case owners. Working with the canvas has been an interesting process, I have to say. A few things uh, springs to mind and uh, what I've been able to do here is to engage with people, like-minded people, people with the same mission, but that come from a different perspective. Um, so going to the grounds of that, the best discussions we had was when we addressed questions of trust, of um, shared and also co-owned messages. Um, and that's really vital to me moving forward as well, looking at the human factor and not only the systems factor. It was good to see how the other people around the room, um, how they tagged into that framework and the, the stuff particularly around internal work and for us to have sight of how we can um, give to and have a reciprocal relationship with the work that's already going on regarding sustainability. I think as well as that it's been really good to understand how important process is um, and how we need to um, engage in that and the bigger picture of a systemic nature. I am triggered in so many ways, I have so many new um, impulses for what would be possible and where, where to go possibly. Like It's like one door after the other is opening and I'm like, wow, I have so many options, I didn't know that. And it's like really, really great. I feel really gifted and uh, grateful to be here. Yeah. The wonderful thing was that there was a, such a range of backgrounds, of perspectives, of experiences, of expertise. And so one was the way these different 
threads began to form, but not in a stable way, they kept changing. And I think that process itself was, for me, wonderful and insightful. Starting to, to really see that, um, that there's a much larger group of people that are interested in that relationship between individual transformations and collective transformations and systems transformations is really inspiring. So it seems to me that there are already many people working in this area of sustainability transformation and doing great projects and that um, building the community further and creating a network might be one of the, of the key challenges and one of the key things to do. The crucial point about the transformation canvas is that it asks questions that are organized around certain principles. And this creates a sense of vitality or aliveness in a human interaction system, a group, a workshop, people who plan together, etc. So it brings the soft factors of human agency together with the hard factors that we need to deal with in sustainability transformations. This symposium has shown how crucially important it is to bring people from different walks of life together around issues of common concern and what we can actually do together when we start leading collectively for sustainability transformation.